despite the fact that in the mid-90s Opel significantly improved the corrosion resistance of its models, the pre-styling Omega B is still not free from the red disease, rust is found on the wheel arches and sills of the lower part of the door panels. But the bodies of cars produced after 1999 began to be galvanized, and there are traces of corrosion on them. As a rule, indicate that the cars have been in an accident and have undergone poor quality repairs. So long. The interior pleases with the perfection of forms and thoughtful ergonomics. The driver's workplace in Omega B is separated from the passenger one by a massive center console and a high central body tunnel. The impression can only be spoiled by a not quite high quality assembly of the interior. The appearance of squeaks or vibrations of the skin is not excluded. The impressive dimensions of the body had a positive effect on the spaciousness of the cabin. Trunk volume, 530 liters increases when folding the seats up to 830 liters. The low edge makes it easy to load the necessary luggage. The caravan has even more capacity, 540 liters and 1800 liters with the rear seats folded down. Engine. Omega, B, petrol versions are more common. A typical malfunction of gasoline engines is the burnout of the exhaust manifold gasket. Sometimes the exhaust manifold will even crack due to overheating. New part $163. Quite often, the idle valve becomes clogged in the fuel injection system of gasoline units, resulting in unstable engine operation. On some specimens, after 100,000 kilometers, cases of leakage of the rear crankshaft oil seal were noted. 2.0-liter engines, especially 8-valve ones, are characterized as not powerful enough for such a large car. However, they are easier and cheaper to maintain, and also significantly more economical than their six-cylinder counterparts. When buying a used car, experts first of all recommend replacing the timing belt, which can withstand 60,000 kilometers. If in a 2.0-liter, 8-valve, broken belt does not lead to a fatal meeting of valves with pistons, then in other engines this trouble will entail costly repairs. Transmission. Like the predecessor, Omega B is a rear-wheel drive car. Traditionally, there were two types of gearboxes to choose from, a 5-speed manual and a 4-speed automatic. There are practically no complaints about the boxes, they are unpretentious and durable. The manufacturer recommends in the mechanics only top up the oil without changing it. In a mechanical box, problems with the clutch disc may occur after a run of 200,000 kilometers. In automatic machines, in difficult operating modes, driving with the trailer, driving on bad roads, it is better to replace it after 60,000 kilometers. Under normal circumstances, there is no replacement. Suspension. The Omega Suspension, B, has a very smooth ride. Solid blocks of the front levers are least of all nurtured on our roads, their service life is 50 to 60,000 kilometers. But the rear suspension parts last a long time. Steering. When driving on our roads over time, the pendulum arm of the steering mechanism may fail. And on vehicles with high mileage, steering gear oil seals were leaking. True. We have learned how to restore this unit and even give a one-year warranty on their work. Opel Omega B is a good choice for a reasonable price. The purchase of this car can be recommended to pragmatic motorists who are primarily interested not in the prestige of their vehicle, but in its consumer qualities. And they are good at Omega B. An important plus, the cost of maintenance is lower than that of other competitors. Pros and cons. Plus good value for money. Low cost of spare parts and maintenance. Spacious salon. Comfort suspension. Transformable and roomy trunk. Poor corrosion resistance. Pre-restyling versions. Low quality interior finishing materials. Lack of power in 2.0 liter engines. Possible problems with the exhaust manifold and its gasket. The crankshaft rear oil seal and steering gear oil seals may leak.